All right, so got a bullseye kind of going on there, and you can see the inside edge visible through the lens. So what we're going to do is trim that back. close to the inside row of stitching there, the innermost row. We'll make it so it's not visible from the outside. it looks a lot better. Well, only got five more eyes to do, but I got to show you how to line up that uh, other donut to match the other side. So the first one, we lined up with this stitch row with this point here on the inside, and we're going to do the same on this one Hopefully, hopefully, as you can see, that will line everything up so the eyes won't be, well, they won't be cockeyed. See? They'll line up to the same spot, and they'll look good. Now I'll do this one. Same thing, lining it up there and holding it and lining it up to that stitch row and holding it. Same as it is on that side, quarter, uh, eighth of an inch away from it. So we'll line it up an eighth of, eighth of an inch away from that stitch row. And we'll do the same thing with these two, which honestly, this brown vinyl is a little thinner, a little more rigid, and easier to work with. This gray stuff is thicker. So I'll do that, and I'll show you what it looks like after the fact. Not too bag. Although, when you're trying to stitch quickly, results may vary. Still, from this far away, doesn't make a difference. And that's about as close as a customer's going to get when they're looking at stuff at a flea market. So, or wherever I happen to end up selling these kind of things. Actually, I think I might get a table at a flea market. There's a couple around locally. And, uh, well... Once I have a pile of stock, I'll spend the 20 bucks on a table or whatever it is and uh, spend a weekend trying to sell this crap. But, going from the first one, the second one, the third one, as I've said before in other videos, when you're doing the same thing over and over again, you always want the last one you do to be better than the first one you do. And, uh, yeah, turns out about that. So the next step, the easy step, is to close this bottom seam. That's it. You close that, and then we're just going to trim it. So I'll show you doing one, and I'll do the rest of them. Right. As much view as I can there for you, so you can see everything going on. Once again, we start with the dark. It's a brown looking thing. And I'm not going to switch back to the other foot again. I'm just going to eyeball an eighth instead of a quarter. Not that difficult. seen me do this before, but I'll explain it to you as I'm going. The foot is a half inch wide. From the needle to this edge is a quarter, so half of that, which is to the point of one of these toes on the foot, 
guess you call it a toe. I don't know what the official word is, but to the point of one of those toes is an eight. Once we get this in, we'll get the general shape. That isn't all things. You don't have to be perfectly accurate. There's no rocket science. There's arts and crafts. If it looks good, it's good. As you can see, it's not perfect, not perfectly lined up on the corner or anything, but it's all going to be trimmed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, we have the general shape it's going to be, top to bottom, side to side, front to back, you get uh, a bird's head. <sighs> Works well enough. I'll do the other two. Then I'll show you how to trim them up. <laughs> 